The um, earliest written book of the New Testament, supposedly written by the brother of Jesus, younger brother, I guess. Jesus seemed to have been the eldest. Um, named James. Uh, it speaks of mirrors at one point. He speaks of it in terms of taking action. And I imagine because if the tradition of his authorship is correct, he had been pretty close to, to Jesus. I imagine that what he says is pretty reflective of what the master would have said. Get going, do something. <laughs> um, he says that a man who hears the word of life and doesn't do it is like a man who sees himself in a mirror and then goes away and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. So his, the implication of his words is that it takes some doing to really uh, make sure that this birth that is happening is a birth into life and not just digging up a spore and burying it again. That this spore actually has a chance to, to come alive, to grow. And when it happens, it happens and, and allow, is allowed to continue happening because of the doing. That, I think, is the point that James is making. Don't just look at yourself and think, ah, how wonderful. I've, I've, maybe I see a transformation. I, I've done something wonderful and I'm a new man or a new woman. Great. So what? Unless it is put into action. But the problem is, too, that one can run off into old action into action that has its source, not in the new person, but in a way that we used to do it. Oh, I'm, I, I, I'm comfortable with this way I used to do it. Oh, I know how to do that, yeah. Um, I'll slip back into using that old way of doing it because I know that works, and this other new way, I'm not so sure it would work, so I might, I might destroy everything if I really went ahead on this, on this dark path. I better go back here, uh, like the man who lost his car keys, dropped them somewhere out in the road, and they found him um, searching for his keys under the street lamp policeman came along and said, where did you drop the keys? Oh, I dropped them over there. Well, why are you searching here? Well, the light's better here. <laughs> <laughs> We're comfortable with the old way. We know that that, that works for us. There's a sort of pseudo-light there that we are familiar with. And we dare not go down the dark alley, which might lead to terrible things. So, as James says, we forget what we actually looked like in the mirror. 